guys, how's it going? It's Amanda. Today we're gonna to talk about some new desk accessories. It's 2020, everybody's working from home, so let's step up your desk setup. So the first thing we have is right in front of us. What do you guys think this is? Anybody have any guesses? Leave a comment down below if you do. This is a phone charger, and it's a dual-sided phone charger, so you can charge on either side. But guess what? It has more tricks up its sleeve. Not only can it charge on each side, it can charge two phones on each side. And with everybody at home, all these devices need in charge. This is really gonna help out. So this is in white. They have two different colors. They have a grayish or a black color. And in the front here, it has their brand, which is expansive. And then down below, it has like a rubbery finish down there to keep your phones from sliding. It's got this nice texture here. It just looks really great when it's sitting on your desk. It has two little indicator lights over on the front side. Again, everything's mirrored on the back side. So you can charge four devices wirelessly. It will only do certain um, things, like it doesn't do AirPods, but have no fear, there are two plugins down on the end so you can charge via USB. So now you can charge other things besides four phones. <laughs> you can also charge your switch or a keyboard or anything you want plugged into the USB port. So it's a really great item to have on your desk to keep all your things charged and ready to go. Okay, who's brought their work laptop at home and now you're realizing your neck hurts, your back hurts because it's all down low and you can't see things? Well, this is the pillar and it's going to lift it up and get it eye level. Mine is all dusty, try to ignore that if you can, but it has these little pads that protect it on both the top and bottom so things are gonna stay put and nothing is gonna get scratched up. But this is made from metal and it can all be disassembled if you need to move or pack it up and take it somewhere. And there's these little stoppers on the front to keep anything from sliding off. But it's gonna raise your computer, get it up eye level, make things more ergonomic, and you can even store your keyboard underneath. The next item is for storing your MacBook in a safe spot whenever it is not in use. So this is just a little piece of metal covered in this rubber here, to, again, to protect it. And it's very heavy, or it's not very heavy, but it's weighted enough and designed so that it doesn't tip over easily. And it matches your MacBook very well. So it's gonna look nice sitting on your desk. And if you look at the bottom, it's got that rubber on there as well, just to keep things from sliding around. But this is just a very clean, nice looking, simple designed item, very minimalistic. It's gonna store your MacBook in the upright position and take up very little space. Okay, so let's be real for a minute. If you're not used to working from home, you have all this crap all of a sudden at home. You probably have a small desk set up or table you're working at, and you need somewhere to go with it. Well, I found these filing cabinets that look really great from FlexiSpot, and I am using them to store all kinds of little doodads and knickknacks and things that I need in my daily life. So I got AirPods, I got chargers, I got batteries, I got extra keyboards and mice. I started saying mouses, yep. Honestly, I did, but they come with these little dividers in here, which is great. You can see how I have everything organized. It holds it in place, so it's not just rolling through here whenever you are opening and closing drawers. This next drawer, I have all my mics and other chargers, and yeah, obviously I have a lot of those types of things given that I make videos, and that's what we do. We have lots of little doodads, but you can lock it up, have a little safety if you need to. They got this awesome little key that also fits on your key ring, which is really cool and folds in and it's on wheels and there's not only four wheels but there's five wheels to keep it from tipping over if you've loaded it heavy with like files or something. Last up, I have a microphone. This is the Blue Yeti X and this is a desktop USB powered microphone. It looks great sitting on your desk and it's kind of an all-inclusive package. Now this isn't the cheapest one, but if the boss is paying for it, you want some good quality that's just very simple to use and this is definitely one of those. Looking at the bottom here, you can see it charges or plugs in via micro USB, unfortunately not USB-C. It has a headphone jack so you can listen to it. It's on this stand which is heavily weighted and you can tilt it in any direction and tighten down these screws. It has colors so if you are a gamer for life, you can match your setup or any kind of surroundings. Um, you can also have it do it to where it works with volume so the louder it gets, in, you can have it change colors that way. On the front here, the dial turns and adjusts the volume and you can see the lights there which switch with it. And it has four different microphone patterns that you can choose from, which I'm using cardioid because that is what we use for making voiceovers. And I'm not gonna go through everything because this is not like a full dedicated video, but they do have some software where you can go in and um, once you have it downloaded and everything, you connect your microphone 
and you can see everything right here and access all the different patterns and things. You can also enable blue voice, which has all these different settings, like this one's warm and vintage, and there's all different kinds of things that if you really wanna play with this, you can change it. You can make it yourself sound like a broadcaster, so you sound more like you have a voice like a radio person, or cut out all um, background noises and things. There's a whole lot of software here, which if you just want a basic microphone that sounds good, this sounds great out of the box, in fact, I'm using this for this whole video. Everything you've heard is just the plain microphone on the basic out of the box settings other than I've messed with my colors and things like that. Well guys, that is all I have for you guys today. Thanks for coming in and hanging out with me. Hope you guys are staying safe and staying well. Leave a comment down below letting me know your favorite item or something you'd like to see featured in my next video because I'm always looking for suggestions. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.